Now for the um, take the hem up, we're going to just tidy up any loose threads that are around. And on this particular pant, the hem allowance is five centimeters. And I'm going to push. I have the front, inside front facing me, so I'm going to push the seam towards the back and turn it up the five centimeters. There is a notch or a nick that you may have made on your, from your pattern it's up here so that's the point where we need to stitch and uh, not stitch fold make the seam go towards the back and if in doubt always measure And on the opposite side, the seams again towards the back. Measure down your five. And then Again, so what we're going to do is oh, once I've pinned the other one up, we'll go to the iron and we'll turn this under one centimeter and press so that you've got a four centimeter finished hem, one centimeter under, and then we're going to top stitch it around. So again, the notch or the nick is here, fold it under O with the seam going to the back, towards the back. On the outside we're going towards the back again. And stitch it and just pin it there. Again, press the centimetre up. So now one last thing before we've finished, and that's the hem. We've pre um, had the hem, we've already prepped the hem to be done. It's a five centimetre hem, we've ironed it in one centimetre at the top at the top of down here at the edge of the hem, fold it under and then pinned it up. So it ends up being finished a four centimetre hem. And what you do there, starting on the in leg, and the reason I start on the in leg is that you don't see any heavy um, finishes off with your thread. It's just a look. And then you top stitch. If you don't like top stitched hems, hem it by hand.
then come in and um, stitch over your beginning stitch, do a back stitch and cut your thread. So there's our pant finished, ready for you to wear tonight. The only two things that you need to do is one, go around and make sure that there's no excess threads hanging off like up here at the waistline might be a couple up there because if somebody sees a thread nine times out of ten they'll be wanting to pull it It usually is where you start and finish. On your pockets, on your hem legs, the start, and there you have it, all finished.